Warm welcome, you're watching Times Now and I'm Meghna Dekha. The top focus is going to be the fake news factory which is slowly crumbling under its own weight. Well, legal woes are set to deepen for the wire over its now retracted reports claiming that Meta gave BJP leader Amit Malviya special privileges to take down social media posts against the BJP on Instagram. Now, the Delhi police have fired an FIR on the criminal complaint which is lodged by the BJP IT cell chief Amit Malviya. In fact, in his complaint that Times now exclusively and first managed to access for its viewers, Ahmed Malviya has alleged that fake news were published with a view to malign and tarnish his reputation. FIR has now been filed under charges of forgery and criminal conspiracy. Now remember, the wire has sought to put the blame on the staffer working on the story, saying that whether he did it on his own or was working on someone's instructions will be subjected to judicial process. It has also played victim cards, saying that there was malintention to discredit the wire. So let me go across to our senior editor, Bhavtosh Singh, who's joining us with the details of it. Bhavtosh Times has managed to access the criminal complaint copy, which has been filed, and it names four of its founding fathers as well. Tell us what are the specific charges and why it's a criminal conspiracy that has been alleged. Uh, Meghna, this uh, FIR has been filed with the crime branch and uh, this FIR has been filed under very serious sections of IPC, including that of uh, cheating, forgery, uh, passing of a uh, forged document as uh, genuine, also under criminal conspiracy and common intention. Uh, it names all those who have been named in the complaint as an accused. Uh, that uh, includes uh, Siddharth Bhatia, who is the founding, uh, in a way, a founder of uh, The Wire, uh, Siddharth Vartarajan, who is also a founder and editor of uh, The Wire. Uh, Janvi Sen, uh, one of the authors of uh, this article and also the author of uh, Tech Frog. And uh, it names others. Uh, there are also unnamed accused in this case. Uh, so there, there are uh, several persons who have been named as an accused in this case. Uh, the, uh, the officers in the crime branch have said that they received the complaint given by uh, the IT cell head of uh, BJP, Amit Malviya, late in the evening. And uh, they have now registered a case in this entire matter. Now, what will happen next is that Amit Malviya complaint will be taken on record and they will start uh, processing the complaint. Uh, they will call in, obviously, uh, Amit Malviya to record his statement because this is a complaint which have been converted into an FIR, and then his statement will, will be recorded next week. It could happen as early as Monday. And then all those who have been named in this FIR, they will also be called in to record this statement. Uh, the interstate sale of the crime branch uh, probably will be, in fact, uh, uh, investigate this case. So Siddharth Patia as well as uh, Siddharth Padrajan, uh, Janvi Sen, and others will be called in to record this statement. Now, these are very serious sections of IPC under which uh, this FIR has been filed. Some of them are non-available. So one has to wait and see how a crime branch uh, progresses in this case. They have said that uh, uh, they have, in fact, kept a very open mind as far as this case is concerned. The complaint of Amit Malve also runs into nine pages. Now, he has said that time and again uh, he has been targeted by the wire. And uh, he, in fact, in his complaint, alleges that this started in a, in a manner uh, way back in January itself when this entire issue of uh, Ted Fogg came. And then he said that uh, around uh, October of this, uh, early October of this uh, month, uh, there was an article that was published, and that article turned out to be a fake article. Now, he further, uh, in fact, in the article, uh, in his complaint, said that this was not only to malign his image, but also of a party globally. Now, that's a very serious charge he has leveled. And uh, Crime Branch has said that uh, his complaint has been taken on record, and his complaint has now been converted into an FIR. In fact, Times Now has managed to access that complaint. For that, let me go across to Rohit. Rohit, can you get us a lowdown? Yes, Meghna. In fact, I have the very complaint that uh, BJP leader Amit Malvi has filed. And if I can go take you through the details of the complaint, it has been filed against four individuals. Here it's mentioned Siddharth Vardarajan, Siddharth Bhatia, MK Venu. Three of them are founding editors of The Wire. And also Janvi Sen, the deputy editor and the executive news pr producer of The Wire. And if I just take you through some of the charges, some of the allegations that he has made in this complaint, most of which have been translated into the FIR as well, that include, obviously he has mentioned sections 420, 468, 469, 471, 500, 120B and 34. And the details of these charges are mentioned below. So if I just take you below, over here, some of the points that Amit Malvi has mentioned include 
offenses of cheating. I am filing the present complaint, complaint for the offenses of cheating, forgery for the purpose of cheating, forgery for the purpose of harming the reputation, using a genuine, or using as genuine a forged document or electronic record and defamation amongst other provisions of the, FP, of the IPC. So this is uh, what uh, Amit Malvi is saying and if I can take you through some of the very damning allegations that he has put across in this complaint, I'll, I want to take you across to point number six. So uh, if, I just, if I can just find point number six here, he's talking about a conspiracy and I'm just taking you through that point there where he's talking about a conspiracy against the BJP and against Amit Malviya himself. So uh, this is a very serious allegation that uh, he's leveling against the wire. In fact, he goes on to say that there was an, there was a, an attempt to, uh, you know, conspire. The individuals right. he accused attempted to conspire against the BJP and Amit Malviya himself. And in fact, in the last point, if I take you to the last point, it tells you the various charges that most of which have been translated into the FIR now. He's talking about section 420, that is cheating, section 468, forgery for purpose of cheating, 469, forgery for purpose of harming reputation, 471, that is using as genuine a forged document, and also section 500, punishment for defamation, and he's also sought punishments on section 120B and 34 of the IPC. And as Bhavtosh was telling us, some of them are also non-bailable offences, very serious offences. Thank you so much, Bhavtosh, as well as Rohit. Meanwhile, this is what the complainant in this case, the BJP's IT cell head, Amit Malviya, has to say. It is clear that the wire and some unknown persons entered into a criminal conspiracy with the intent to malign and tarnish my reputation deliberately inserted my name into a story and fabricated evidence to implicate me. This also undermines the democratic and informed choices that the public makes through a carefully calibrated campaign of disinformation and calumny and does irreparable harm to the democratic right of dissent. On October 27, 2022, after scathing public scrutiny and the exposure of significant fabrication of dates, times and content in its alleged proof, The Wire publicly apologized to its readers and retracted the stories about MCheck and Meta. I don't want to comment on that because I think the matter is, uh, matter is going being legally fought uh, uh, between those who were accused, uh, you know, while accusations were leveled against some people. Look, here is the issue. As far as intermediaries, after these rules, the intermediaries cannot have a role in propagating fiction, slander, misinformation of the kind that we saw. Lot of these platforms that push misinformation are helped in their cause by witting or unwitting intermediaries who increase the velocity on propagation of that content. And after today's rule, it becomes absolutely incumbent on the platforms, incumbent on the intermediaries, not to be a witting or unwitting participant. Mm -hmm. So in fact, let's throw this open. Joining us today on the show, Sanju Verma, National Spokesperson of the BJP, and Rag Naidu is here with us as well, and author Dr. Roman C. Raman, a political analyst, as well as Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, a leader of the Congress Party. I'm going to come to you first, Sanju Verma, because it's important for us to put out the facts in the case as well because it's not just about this one criminal complaint but also an admission of guilt as it seems an apology from the wire magazine which categorically stated and i'm going to say it uh, out uh, and quote them directly to have rushed to publish a story we believed was reliable without having associated technical evidence vetted independently is a failure of which we cannot permit repetition your party however was accused of trampling upon India's democracy, of throttling dissent. Today, what would you say, not just about the magazine, but to the larger ecosystem which amplified these stories? You know, Meghna, I think that's a very interesting question because uh, the manner in which uh, certain uh, online polls and the so-called uh, leftist ecosystem which fancies 
that it is the beacon of uh, free speech, uh, but it's quite uh, contrary um, to what they profess. Uh, they are the ones who've been trying to malign the BJP, the Modi government ad nauseum. And I think it's out there in the public domain. You don't need uh, to be an Einstein to know that uh, the Modi government has been uh, the target of a vilified uh, of a campaign to vilify uh, Prime Minister Modi, who remains the most trolled leader globally. I think, you know, uh, I'll just say a couple of things. Uh, first, let us come to the tech fog story, which broke out, uh, you know, and uh, wires Janvi Sen uh, was shouting from the rooftops that her story is very authentic. And Siddharth Vardarajan said, uh, you know, Janvi Sen's uh, story is the gospel truth. Janvi Sen being the deputy editor of Wire. Hmm. What did Tech Fog uh, story claim? It claimed that via the Tech Fog app, the Modi government is illegally storing data of some citizens in order to use them nefariously. The hmm. other point that was made in that Tech Fog story by Siddharth Vardarajan and Janvi Sen was that inactive WhatsApp accounts have been usurped by the BJP led Modi government to try and use them at a later stage to try and influence poll outcomes uh, in various states. So I think, let's be very clear, after the Tech Forbes story came out, New York Times came out with a story, Washington Post came out with a story saying, look, free speech under the Modi government is being trampled, it is being crushed. The limited point I'm making is, you first have a leftist Portal. It should not be called the wire. They should rename themselves to we are for hire. We are for hire to the biggest bidder and we will ingratiate ourselves to somebody who can pay us what we want. The mm. fact is that, you know, then these international uh, magazines pick up the story and next what do you have? You have the World Freedom Index saying free speech, Article 19, under threat under the Modi government. Hmm. So it's a very coordinated yeah, campaign. Yeah, right. My limited point is this. Meghna, I will take 20 seconds to tell you, forget the fact that Amit Malviya obviously is doing the right thing by filing civil and criminal defamation against Wire and its senior management. But I am appalled by the Editors Guild of India, which came out with a statement yesterday, which was put out on Twitter. Hmm. I'll just quickly read out the last four lines of that statement saying, the Guild is disturbed by the recent turn of events with respect to reports published by The Wire on Meta. The Guild is conscious of and emphasizes need for extra care in investigative journalism and urges newsrooms to resist temptation of moving fast on sensitive stories, circumventing due journalistic Diwali, norms Diwali and checks. I want okay. to ask the Editor's Guild, just, just 20 I seconds, Megha. Yes, complete, your, want point. To ask, complete your point. Yeah, I want hmm. to ask Seema Mustafa, the President of Editor's Guild, I want to ask Sriram Pawar, the treasurer of Editors Guild, and Anant Nath, the general secretary of Editors Guild. Hmm. In your press statement, have you once condemned the wire? Have you once condemned Siddharth Vardarajan? Okay. Have you once condemned Siddharth Bhatia? Have you once condemned Janvi Sen? No. You simply expressed regret. You said your concern. Express regret. In fact, that is something that Amin Malviya too has said. Even though a public apology came out, there is no personal apology which was tendered to him. Exactly. Now the BJP making the same point that yes, there is regret being shown. However, there is no open condemnation. So let me go across to Mr. Chaudhary. You had a point to make, Mr. Chaudhary. All those people who amplified stories like this, as uh, Sanju Verma was also saying, there was an entire system amplifying stories which projected the Indian government, as the big brother, said that it crushed dissent, it strangled democracy. Today, when it comes out, when you have Vaya themselves admitting it's an admission of guilt, today, why are they coming out and openly condemning these stories and saying this is how freedom of speech is actually being crushed by well, fakery and lies? Yeah. Yeah, good evening, good evening, Meghna. First and foremost, in Hindi, we say, Chor ko twal ko date. The CEO of the fake news university, Amit Malviya ji, now is projecting himself as holier than thou. All Koi this fake news hai, that he has circulated were all debunked by the wire. Oh. If there was no fakery, why did no, they apologize? I hope you give me the same courtesy that you have extended to the BJP. No, I hope, I hope you can allow me to make my point first. Then you can counter me on any point that I am ready to debate. 
the point is that all these points that were put out by amit malvi over the last few years let me name a few examples of fakery of the is fake is there a criminal complaint malvi against amit malvi and is that they come be holier than mr choudhary i promise you you'll be back on the show we I will discuss you, that as we have in the past as well but i asked you about the fakery of the wire since there no, is a criminal complaint and that, that is the point i request no, you to no, stick to the no, point it's not about mr Meghna. amit malvi at Meghna, all I hope let's not make it about one person because what we are talking about is malaiti no, india and its democracy malvi ma'am megna wait 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 don't propaganda don't use propaganda nobody is maligning india maligning we are maligning the bjp government for its fakery all along Please do not confuse India with the BJP government. India Today is you and me and everybody. Today it is the BJP government which is in power. Nobody is against center. India. Don't try to propagate that propaganda out Are here. Are you dumb or are you insane? Amit Malviya, the the university was fake news. When you maligned the Modi government, you are maligning India because the Modi government is in power. He has spread fake news over the years. Now he is like so chuha mar ke Delhi hath ko chali. That is Mr. Chaudhary, if you do not have direct answer, answers, I would request has... you not to digress. I am trying to give you time. However, you are wasting this time yes, talking yes, about yes, Amit yes. Malviya. What, what has happened in the past? I am asking you specifically. Now Meghna, you have, Meghna. as the facts lie, no, no, why, why are themselves have apologized? Will you today say you yes, we fell for the fakery? Will you admit yes, we fell for the fakery, Mr. Chaudhary? Why are has accepted it? Will you? This man oh, is always that out is the magnanimity of the wire that they have accepted. What did Amit Malviya really? do? He will spread <laughs> out a fake news on Twitter and hmm. then quietly delete it. By the time thousands of screenshots have been taken and circulated across <laughs> all across the WhatsApp universe, Mr. Chaudhary. Please, you are a bit confused about what the subject of this debate is. I'll ask you. I'll request you that next time around when I come to you, you give me specific answers because I, I, I have shortage of time. I cannot agree, allow this discussion to be far. reaching you and want, digress to towards subjects that we are not discussing let me go across to anurag naidu anurag naidu yeah. today do you Megna. think that those who suggested Megna. that there is widespread anarchy if not anarchy there is widespread uh, control of the government on our fundamental right today these people are conveniently silent because at the end of it this could this entire fake news factory business which has now been brought down could only be the tip of the iceberg this is just the beginning perhaps well absolutely megna i think you are right uh, we we know for the fact that there is an open cartel of certain media houses megna who have been relentlessly working against the government when i say government yes people might debate oh it's about one party it's about one it cell uh, head but you know let me tell you uh, the for the fact that it is not a personal fight between amit uh, malviya and wire amit is picking up this fight on behalf of his party and the party that is ruling india because what's happening here is putting out fake media putting out mm. fake news and trying to pressurize uh, the the system as a whole where government is a party meta as an organization is a party and one individual called amit malviya is representing the it cell of a party is also a party to this matter mm. so that there is an uh, there is a serious attempt to pressurize the whole system and create a narrative that there is a severe control which is having a blessing from the government and the reason why uh, we are saying government in the discussion okay. even when sanju varma also said is because there is an attempt to drag the government into the role and saying that there is some kind of a, a blessing for that mm. so there is a whole story that's why we have to come up and say yes it's not like there is a cartel of media which is and it is well within their right to write articles against the policies of the government actions of the government but to go personally against one cell which has been outperforming for last 8 years that's why no other party is able to catch up and i'm saying as an independent analyst and what i see there is they are doing an exceptional job and they're not able to beat them what you do then you call cry you foul cry and you say you okay, know it's, it's cheating it's not about amit malviya 
It's not about Amit Malviya. I don't think it is. I don't think it is personally. With, if you ask Amit, yes. I personally feel Amit will never agree that it is a personal it's matter. It's not about Amit Malviya, and that's the point I've been making right fight, from the beginning. It's Meghna, not about him. And Dr. Suman C. Raman, I must bring you Meghna, in because we've seen the, the serious fight, outcome of this fakery. We've seen the serious outcome of fake news, Dr. Raman, when there have been lynchings because of rumors and fake news of child abductions, and perhaps even worse, when the Delhi police, if you remember, was accused. Of having shot dead in cold blood, shot dead a farmer in cold blood during the farmer agitation. The outcome of all of that was disastrous. So, would you today agree that the charge has been made that there was, and I'm going to quote Amit Malviya here, a calibrated campaign of disinformation and calumny which was unleashed, Dr. Suman C. Raman? Yeah, Meghna, two, three points, and I'm sure I've been doing very patiently listening to everybody, so you will give me the courtesy of an uninterrupted. Absolutely, speech. Dr. Raman. Yeah, thank you. First point is that um, if we fake news is fake news, irrespective of who publishes it. If national channels are putting out fake news day after day, if an IT cell is putting out fake news where Twitter actually says that this is manipulated media, as has been done with uh, one of Mr. Amit Malviya's own tweets in the past, there are pages and pages and pages of specific instances of leading national channels which have a reach millions of times more than the wire putting out fake news. So we have to have a level playing field. Second, the editor's guild can only say what is in the public domain. How can the editor's guild say that this is a conspiracy that Siddharth Varvarajan has had with zero evidence that it is a conspiracy, especially when the man has... There's a criminal complaint. That's the in story. public uh, domain. No, I'm sorry. That is an allegation. This issue of a mistake has been made by the wire. The wire has accepted that it has made a mistake. It should have followed better journalistic practices and done more due diligence before publishing the story. All of that is fine. But to call it a conspiracy deliberately has needs evidence. At this point of time, that evidence has not been put out in the public domain, except for the fact that the wire has consistently carried stories against the government. But other than that, huh. that alone is not tantamount to conspiracy. Their apology, as long as one, does one that minute, apology minute. not tantamount to an admission, Mr. Sumanthiraman? It's an admission. Raman? They made a mistake. It's an admission May that I a mistake okay. was made. There is a difference between saying I made a mistake and accusing me of hatching a conspiracy to defame or malign somebody. Okay. If I am accused of a conspiracy then it, there has to be evidence that I planned this whole thing. I was fully aware that the journalist was actually Make taking, a, uh, was not taking And that's taking interesting, Mr. Suman C. Raman, I, because here on time I now too, to we have always addressed charges such as this, and we have always come out can with I, apologies, I, and we've never put I, riders with that. You had a quick point, Mr. Suman C. Raman, I sorry. What rider was you, put? I'll what let you finish your third point. What rider was put? See, the point is very simple. Okay. Their mistake has been made. Should they have published it? No. Should they have done better due diligence? Yes. The point is to say that this is a conspiracy is a completely different thing from saying that a mistake has been made. Okay. Uh, so so in that case, Parma, it may be a mistake as per Suman C. Raman, but it's Can perhaps not a criminal conspiracy. Although why he's so very convinced it isn't or is, we are not quite sure because that probe is still on. But go ahead, Sanju Verma, you wanted to come in. Thank you. Meghna, you know, I just want to say that when you commit a mistake once, you could call it oversight or a mistake. You make a mistake twice, you still try and dismiss it as a genuine mistake. You make a mistake thrice, okay. you still give the benefit of doubt to the counterparty. In the case of wire, be it the farm protests, be it the reportage on the insurrection last year during Republic Day, be it trying to undermine the government's vaccination program at the peak of the second COVID wave by saying that Covaxin is dangerous. The wire has been a repeat and habitual offender in trying to malign the Modi government. So please don't treat this tech form story or the story involving Amit Malviya as a mistake. It is not a mistake. And I will tell you one more thing, Megna. I will tell you one more thing. Can I finish? Okay, let us finish and come to you, Mr. Chaudhary. Go ahead. Make your point quickly okay. so that we can go across to the others. Yeah. And you know, one of the panelists here was giving some Hindi shairi. I want to tell the Congress 
Have you forgotten 1975's horrific emergency? Naach na jane aangan teda. You people have crushed every democratic principle and today you sit and give integrity certificates to the BJP. Sorry, we don't need okay. them. First go and win elections. Okay. So let me quickly go and talk to Shandu Chaudhary. What do you answer to that? Congress shouldn't preach because of the past lessons. But more importantly, more importantly, is there actively a bid to try and undermine India's democratic credentials, Mr. Chaudhary? And I'd really request you to give me a specific answer. No, I will not give you a specific answer because your debate is turning into an agenda-based debate. Let me first clarify you on a number <laughs> of points. Amit Malviya is a habitual liar and a fake news paddler. First point. Why don't you Second file point is that him? whenever Why he spreads out fake news about the Congress... Wait, wait, let me finish, let me finish. He, can, he is the person who, clip, who created a clip video of Manmohan Singh. Mr. Chaudhary, if you can get over your dislike for Amit Malviya, can we again have a direct answer from you, Mr. Chaudhary? He is the same person who accused the Tamliki Jamaat of spreading COVID. He is the same person who said that women in Shahinbaag were paid 500 rupees and given a packet of biryani. All these stories and many more have been debunked by the wire and the old news. So there the agenda comes into play. Why one mistake by the wire and Amit Bia, Amit But one thing is for certain, Mr. Chaudhary, when he starts equating a member and reminding of the list of fake news as he calls it, one obvious question, if it is fake news either from either side of the ideological divide, can you in any way try to justify it? That's no, no, the question. No, 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 when no, there no. is disinformation, when there is fakery, the can anything justify it? That's the question that perhaps we should look at. But more importantly, this is part of a larger conspiracy. And yes, we are talking about much bigger than the wire itself is of magnifying what they are calling the crushing of India's democratic ideals. That perhaps is the larger question. Appreciate you all, your panelists, for joining us here on the show. Without a short break, don't go anywhere.